Okay, guys, just dealing with a situation right here. And this is one of those deals where you guys can help us kind of guide the content of the channel. And uh, just given the circumstances of everything going on right now, we're in a little bit of a bind for what we want to do for race week, which is a great problem to have. And we're trying to decide if we take, the plan is for sure to take two cars and then hopefully a C8. And Cooper will drive the C8. I'll drive one of the other cars. James will drive one of the other cars. But here's where we're at. We got uh, Leroy is broken, but will be fixed in time. Ruby is broken, which I'm gonna show you guys in an upcoming video. Both of which can 100% be repaired in time for race week. And the cars could probably make the week. The El Camino, however, which was my main goal was to take that to race week. It's so far from being complete that it's crazy. Like we got it back today and we just made a game plan for painting the bumpers and the dash and the hood. And I mean, we need headlights, taillights, door handles, windows back in the car, door panels back in the car. That, I mean, that's just the start of it. There's not a single wire on the car. There's not a third member in the rear end. There's not an engine in the car. Texas Speed will can and will have an engine done. Fuel lines, brake lines, fuel system, pumps. Yeah. So seat belts. We have two options. We would have to drop everything we want, everything we are doing and want to do tomorrow and go full blown El Camino and then have it done probably the day before we leave for race week untested in a potentially overpowered car, you know, for its own good. It's getting massive turbos. I just don't see it being realistic to try and do that at this point. I, like a week ago, that was my plan was to just go full rip El Camino. But after this whole week, and I feel like basically what I'd be doing then is just forcing El Camino content down your guys' throat when we're not really ready for it, right? We'd have to drop the seven second quest with Ruby, go full El Camino. We'd have to drop this special Crown Vic project that's going on in the shop that you guys will see tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Oh, dude, it sucks. It's, it's just looking more and more like the El Camino can't go on race week. kind of unreasonable to push it to go on race week. Yeah. A car like that needs so much testing. Yeah. But I'm bummed. And so a lot I wanted of that ass fab work which takes time. Wanted to talk to you guys and see what opinions you had on it. I mean would it be best to just race the car a couple months? Take it to drag week potentially or take it to LS Fest. Race it there, make sure it's good, dial it in. You know, there's always another race week. And it's not like you have everything that it needs sitting in a box. It just needs yeah, to go on. That's true. Like, we don't have anything. Yeah, we'd have to definitely start overnight and stuff. We just sure. have the trans. Yeah. So, as I, I mean, honestly, I got on here to kind of waste some options. But as I explain it out loud, it just sounds so not possible to have the thing done. Because it would have, the car would have to go from a shell to... Uh, race ready in like three weeks to have enough time to test for race week. And I think Whereas the class that it fits in is like a very fast class. Yeah, I mean it, it it puts us in the unlimited class, which is the fastest class in the thing. And who knows what it'll even weigh and if it'll make those rules. Plus, we have to certify the chassis through the NHRA in that time. So it's like, dude, uh, I think we have put ourselves in a position where we can't do it and say we did drop everything and do try and get the El Camino even close we're then at the point where Ruby and Leroy are just completely neglected until that point where we need to take one of them too and then we have two cars that aren't ready so we could have two very ready race cars or one potential disaster and one unready Corvette so I think, boys, what we're gonna have to do is finish the El Camino the month after race week.
you know, or even just keep kind of doing what we've been doing and working on it here and there, which has been, it's getting, it's gotten a lot of progress now. So you'll see it in the, the Crown Vic video, but I don't know, dude. Seems, seems out loud, right? Like we gotta just push it. I mean, it, is it possible? Yes. Is it reasonable? No. No? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. Like so. how many weekends and nights in the next month do you want to spend? Yeah. on that thing. I mean, Can you have the ability to spend it's, I think even if we did spend every weekend and night on it, it still would be like an unprepared mess. Which is fun. I love a good unprepared mess. I'm all about being a part of shit shows. But this is like 1,300 mile challenge. And what if we, you know, tear the car up? Or freaking, you know, worse. James gets hurt because there's a loose bolt on the things you know, unchecked four link or something it's like fuel lines get not tightened yeah yeah oil so if we want the car to be right we have to wait that's what it's come down to so i guess i'm putting this video up then at this point to announce that we're probably moving the el camino back i guess weigh your opinions in the comments below let us know what you think it's just kind of one of those things where we had to Honestly, we just walked out there and looked at it and the reality set in that there's no, there's not even a damn tail light in the car. There's not even a damn side marker. Like where do I even get an El Camino side marker? Cause ours are old and beat up on the other cars. It's like, <laughs> well, third member drive shaft has to be made. Mm -hmm. Yeah, boys, not looking good. No brakes on the back, no brake lines. So, Hope you guys are ready for a Corvette race week. It is what it is. One of those things. Like, I am definitely bummed because I wanted the Elko to be ready for race week this year. And it seemed like we had all the time in the world. But we just have so much other fun stuff, too, that we have to do. Because what's the point of, you know, doing what we do if we're not also doing the stuff we enjoy? Not that we don't enjoy working on the El Camino, but, you know, we love, like, I would probably find more enjoyment in seeing Leroy have a super successful race week. And sometimes I guess I'm just, you get a little blindsided by that when you got something new and shiny in front of you. So that's the reality of it, folks. It's got a solid couple months of work to be the car we want it to be. Like, remember Tom Bailey's car in that video? That thing had freaking every switch in that car worked. There was not one thing in that car that Tom Bailey was like, oh, that doesn't work. I could get Leroy and Ruby and tell you five things that don't work. Wheel speed sensors don't work. Ruby's IAT sensor doesn't work. So let's see, the list would go long. His, <laughs> we don't have drive shaft sensors. We don't have rear ends, like rear wheel speed. Uh, we've got problems with the parachute on Ruby awesome to put like a roof style system on Leroy like some kind of like yeah top target top -ish. yeah Ruby's windows don't work right now yeah. so much crap Ruby's pretty heavy for what it could yeah, be we could ditch a bunch of weight out of her yeah so battery needs to be in the back of Ruby yeah I think the plan then would be we finish the C7 we get that thing out out the door and then we just go full-blown Ruby Leroy till we're fully prepared that they are the cars we believe they can go to race week and have a successful rip. That'd be... Seems like the only reasonable route. And then watch, this freaking C8 is going to break. <laughs> it's going to snap an axle. I mean, it is going to break. <laughs> Dude, that's scary. Have you guys seen C8s breaking axles when they go drag racing? Damn. I haven't seen many Corvettes not break an axle going drag racing. Yeah, it's kind of a Corvette. Thing. It's kind of a GM thing. That's true. <laughs> That's true. It's kind of a GM thing for sure. Freaking every GM I think we have besides C7 has broken an axle. Kyle just broke his on a ZR1 this weekend. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> we need spare axles. Leroy's got two spares. Ruby has spares now. So we're good. We just need some C8 spares. And then we're we're set for race week. What else could possibly be an issue? So, 
All right, guys, this has been your live action update with Cleeter. Just a little bit of reality as we think our way through some of these obstacles, like, you know, too many freaking bald eagles on this one is the problem. But uh, I think if we get through race week successfully, then we can take both cars home, hopefully in good condition. They'll probably be a little beat up, and then we can go full El Camino for a little bit accomplish all our goals and take the right time to do it get it ready for ls fest east boom i like it see you guys